All right, what's up guys? So I did some scientific testing with my drift car. Well, kind of. All these ammo kits out there, um, and I've, I've always wondered, yeah, they work great in drift, but I wonder quantifiably how much better can you do a U-turn? Like everyone talks about that, right? They're like, oh, that thing turns on a dime. This is a perfect opportunity because I was switching from my Wise Fab angle kit from my stock angle, and it was horrible in the stock uh, 350Z angle. It is just, it, it's like a bust. You need to do a three-point turn just to do a U-turn. So, what I did was, I did U-turns, and I measured from stock angle, the distance it took to do a U-turn, like the radius, and then after I installed the WiseFab kit, I did another U-turn, and I measured that as well. And just FYI, these two videos were shot a couple months apart, because it took me a while to install it, get wheels, the holidays, all that stuff, but yeah. Um, the results are pretty amazing, and I'm excited to share with you guys. Check it out. Alright, this is a pretty uh, standard width street here, so I'm going to see if I can do a U-turn and measure the before and after. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think it would take more than an entire street just to do a U-turn. Let's see where we're at. So I actually maxed out my 25 foot measuring tape. Um, just measuring from the far outside of the curb that the car was up against. And then just to the inside of the left side of the car on the inside of the turn, I guess. And this runs all the way across the street and not quite there. So, right there, and then let's see how much we have left. Two up against the curb. Roughly another four feet. So, so this is real easy. Um, 25 feet plus four, so 29 feet is the distance that is for stock turning. I mean, other than a welded diff, it's all stock. I don't know if the welded diff may hinder, give it some understeer, but probably not that much. Um, so we'll install the Wise Fab, and then we'll come back here and do another comparison. See how much tighter um, the turning radius will be. I hope it'll be a lot better because this is kind of surprising, like I said. it's. It's quite a lot of space just to do a U-turn. So today we got Nish with me. What's going on? Just tagging along with his uh, sexy Audi. The daily. I want. I want to get a ride in that thing. It sounds sick. Like oh, just following me here. It was like <laughs> weep, weep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So real quick. Um, everything's on the car. He let me borrow his wheels. Last week, finally got them on, adjusted the, the toe. Wise fab suspension? Yeah, the toe. The toe in, it was hella toed in. So now it's all good. Um, put some spacers on the back wheels so they don't, they're not super sunken battleship status, but. Fitment gain? Yeah. Just to make it a little more presentable. But, anyways, um, a couple weeks back, I filmed this car with, uh, with stock angled in the same location. I'm um, just driving and doing a U-turn just to document what stock uh, suspension is like when it does a U-turn. And now that I have the Wise Fab on, I want to finally record how, how much of an improvement a U-turn can be executed with the Wise Fab angle. Um, so today we're going to do the U-turn and measure the diameter of the turn or the circumference, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
see him. All right, so now, as you can see, this is a very little, very tight radius turn. So now I'll compare it to where it was last time. Notice the uh, tape measure skill. So that's right around 183, 15 feet from the curve. Or 183 inches, not 183 foot three, or 15 feet three inches. So we'll compare that to what we had last time. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's a much better improvement. What do you think, Nish? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, Let's check out this angle, though. Angle kit, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's all about. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, get, on in get there. a little sexual in here. Oh. And this is with no alignment, uh, with the zero, zero like adjustments in caster and toe setting. Just bolted it up. On an 18 by nine and a half? Yep. Yeah, look at that, that, that clearance right there to the knuckle. Nuts. Barely fits. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to take this to the track. <laughs> oh, dude, it's gonna probably feel amazing, honestly. Now let's summarize and compare how much of a gain we got from the angle kit. So we have stock and wise fat. Okay, let's see. 29 feet. And then wise fab measured 15 feet, roughly. So 15 is like almost half, but let's just figure it out. So we'll just round that up to 52%. 15 divided by 29, 52%. So essentially, WiseFab, the angle, the amount of room it takes to do a U-turn is only 52% of what it takes to do a U-turn stock. That's crazy. Literally almost half. That's awesome. Now I just want to go do U-turns all day and see like the tightest spots that I could do one. So there you have it. Now we all know. You can cut your turning radius in half with an angle kit. I've always wondered myself how much of a difference an angle kit re would really make on the street for like daily driving. If there's any other tests or ideas you guys have, just let me know. Leave them in the comments below and then uh, I'll try to see if it's something that I can pull off and figure out answers for you guys. It's kind of fun. I like doing this. Also, remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these weekly videos I make. Ooh, he's stealing. He's stealing. Somebody call the cops. He is stealing. Who's man's? Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh, oh. He's, he's stealing for sure. He got it started. <laughs>